<laughs> lovely, lovely, just tricked you there. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the first try. Try it. In case you don't know, it's Paul, Rate My Beer. Right, today something a little different. Um, you may have watched the, um, oh, the beer hall video. Well, beer and spirits hall, really, because there's some rum, there's three different rums, and there's this bottle of tequila, um, the Leon tequila. Um, the only place I could find it was 59.99. That's the platinum one, 100% pure agave. So agave's plant that makes tequila I don't know I'm not that much up on it I'm not a tequila connoisseur if I'm honest anyway I'll read this which is like the backstory De Leon tequila is a top-shelf liquor liquor brand owned by music legend Sean Diddy Coombs that's Puff Daddy P Diddy love you know how many other names I don't know he's got more names than me no seriously yeah love Diddy obviously uh, the youngest son named after him so he's called Sean John as most of you would know watching this presented in a ornate bottle with tattooed fragrance grade glass and a unique metal stopper yep it does look good that doesn't it kind of like a, a skull thing de leon offers luxury tequila with a unique style okay uh, de leon tequila is made with certified 100 percent highland blue weber agave grown in the fertile plains of Los Atos Jasco and hand picked according to perfect ripeness. After slowly roasting and fermenting, the tequila is distilled only twice to maintain its natural sweetness and depth. Aged impressions are then matured in a combination of American oak and French wine casks, creating a distinctive taste and unmatched smoothness. So smooth. Okay, 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 okay. Smooth, that's interesting. Smooth and sweet. Um, that's the right up anyway. Um, I don't know anyone that's done this on YouTube. 40% um, alcohol volume, by the way. I'm going to do this one over the rocks. So if you see that glass in the background, I'm going to do a Corona Rita with it at some point. Um, as I say, tequila with me, I do the old shots. I've done the tequila slammers, the shots, uh, tequila sunrises, and obviously a margarita. But I'm going to do a different one with a bottle of Corona which is a Corona Rita, or we could call it a Diddy Rita, for argument's sake. As I say, I'm just going to pour a large one in here over the rocks. I've, I've got, obviously, a Dillion glass. I'm using my Bira de Borgo glass, which is a multi-purpose glass, in case you don't know. So, let's get her open and see what we get, eh? Yeah, it's got that tequila vibe. Definitely. So, there's a nice large one a little measure i am professional you see i might not lick it but i can be professional sometimes and aha this one so let's get that into there i don't i've got to do this like that so there it's in the glass now looks like a tequila wood i mean they do have a gold version as well but as i say the only one available was the platinum one i'd like the gold one to kind of put them against each other, if that makes sense. So let's give it a swirl. There's something different there. Because um, normally, to, to me, a lot of tequila, you get the cheap ones, they do smell like paint strip right all the time. It's sort of like, I don't know, maybe vanilla. Oh, it smells bloody lovely. Um, I don't know, the orange, lemon. I actually think it might be melon, watermelon or something, but then I might be thinking that because I just read something about Diddy suing, whatever they're called, that he made it with, because obviously it's just Diddy now. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about it. There's another 
a, a brand that was with him, but they'd had a big falling out. And I just read that they made a, a watermelon tequila against his wishes. Um, but there is that kind of, I don't know. But as I say, there is a spice there, maybe somewhat peppery, I don't know. I'll tell you what, it's definitely got more than their normal tequilas. Um, just, um, I have got another tequila here. I don't know, hold a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's just get that. Got this one. This is a standard tequila bottle. Um, one of Michelle's favourites, as you can see. But I just, it's just somewhat different. Yeah, see, that's that one dimensional alcohol smell in there. Where's the that? It seems to have more going for it. I don't know. Maybe it's in the head. Maybe I'm thinking the price tag. The D, the I, the D, the D, the Y. It's Diddy. You see? <laughs> Right, anyway, I'm going on, waffling on too much. Let's get a go. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Now, there is a sweetness there. I'm sure that's what they said. And, yeah, it's smooth. Half the time you gulp tequila, you're... <laughs> there is a warmthness. But there is like, like it's definitely vanilla, um, orange, definitely. As the smell was saying, it's kind of like, I get the smoothness, I get the sweetness. Mm -hmm. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Now for me, normally the old tequilas, they burn you out. That more goes along the lines of his Ciroc. You know, he uh, did he does the Ciroc. We've tried all the different flavors over the course of time. The last bottle I didn't mean to review, but my son got hold of that and we kind of, um, yeah, you know how it is. Oh, you're getting the agave in it. The aftertaste as well. It's like it's it's what it's inviting you for more, um, and it's definitely something like toffee, caramel. I don't know. You're not getting the spiciness that you get in in the smell of it, if that makes sense. That was this Jay. Um, you're definitely getting. It's definitely a big punch of vanilla, and orange, maybe lemon again. I'm not sure. But yeah, I think in a cocktail, this would be, you know, I'm going to do the tequila, the triple sec, and I've got, a, what I've done, I've cheated on the margarita mix. I mean, it's only lime juice, um, sugar syrup, and so on, but this is, this is quality. Like I said, I could never drink the spirits neat. That is absolutely the, the flavor comes up you get that lovely warmth and jesus yeah that's delivering that's a definite yes um i mean like i say i've done that i mean that's two percent less the jose Cordovo one and like if you neck that like, ah, it's dangerous isn't it it hurts you know i don't drink alcohol to get hurt i mean a lot of times i know a lot of people drink to get smashed and everything i end up smashed don't get me wrong but I like to enjoy the moment, you know, or else I say, Michelle just, kum, 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 kum. but me, I'm kind of like, you know, like a connoisseur in that respect. Well, I like to think, but yeah, that's a definite yes. I've got to score that a huge nine out of 10. Yeah, I do get the, the 59.99. It's a bit pricey, but I can't help but think here, you're getting what you pay for. Um, I love Diddy as a musician. I love, as I say, the, the syrup brand. Although sometimes Grey Goose, I do feel edges it. But that has got to be one of the best tequilas I've ever tasted. Um, it's very different, though. Don't get me wrong to other tequilas. As I say, I'm not a connoisseur on tequila in any way, shape, or form. 
but that's delivered big time. So, well done Diddy, we out here.